inside an aircraft's fuel tank, even the smallest contamination can be a major threat. Microbial growth, debris or residual fuel deposits can clog filters, disrupt fuel flow and lead to serious engine issues. In this case, a Falcon 7X's centre feeder tanks need urgent cleaning due to contamination buildup. But before anything begins, safety takes priority. The fuel tank is first ventilated for 24 hours to remove hazardous kerosene vapours. A specialised device measures oxygen levels, CO concentration, VOCS volatile organic compounds and the lower explosion limit LEL. The fuel vapour must be below 50 and the LEL under 10 to ensure a safe working environment. Once these levels are confirmed, the cleaning process can start. If the contamination is minor, a biocide treatment is used to break down microbial growth. But when buildup is severe, mechanical cleaning is necessary. High temperature pressurized water is sprayed inside the tank, flushing out stubborn deposits from areas like the jet pump section and internal surfaces. The loosened contaminants are then drained out completely. Midway through, an alarm signals excessive fuel vapor levels, pausing operations to adjust the ventilation system. Once conditions are safe, any remaining residue is removed, followed by another flush to ensure nothing is left behind. With the contaminants eliminated, the tank is dried and ventilation is reinstalled to clear any lingering fumes. Every step is crucial because when it comes to aircraft fuel systems, there's no margin for error. After all, when you're flying at 35,000 feet, clean aircraft parts aren't just a convenience, 